Welcome, Good brothers evening. and sisters. Good evening, po. Hello, hello. Hello, po. Magandang gabi at welcome, brothers and sisters, to our worship night this 29th of September, 2021. Ngayon pa lang po, gusto ko na pong magpasalamat sa lahat ng nagjo-join sa atin this Wednesday evening. Again, brothers and sisters, I am Sister Jean Chua and with me is Sister Arian. Isang hi at magandang ngiti naman dyan, sis. Ayan. And again, we are your moderators for tonight's Grand Worship Night. So for our new members, as you may know, meron po tayong weekly prayer meetings every Wednesday. But every time there is a fifth Wednesday of the month, we have our Grand Worship Night. And that being said, good, good evening po once again, brothers and sisters. Simulan na po natin going good o di kaya great and blessed ang evening natin ngayon. Siyempre dahil magkakasama po tayo to have another night to listen learn and worship ng magkakasama in the name of our Lord. Yeah, we claim na magiging great and blessed ang evening natin. Let's start off tonight by showing naman our wonderful smiles. Open naman po tayo ng video to, to see each other kahit online lang, brothers and sisters. Pangiti naman dyan or yung mga pwedeng mag-chat sa chat feature ng Zoom. Isang great evening naman po. Good evening. Nakikita ko na po yung ibang naggagandahang ngiti. Maraming salamat for joining us tonight. Magandang gabi po. Napakagaganda ng ngiti. Namiss ko po kayong lahat. <laughs> Ayan. Thank you so much. Great evening. Good evening. Blessed evening po sa ating lahat. Ayan. Maraming salamat, Sister Jean. Sa napaka-warm. <laughs> Sobrang welcoming na greetings. Ayan. Brothers and sisters, again, we welcome you to our Grand Worship Night. And para lang po ma-refresh tayo, our theme for our September series is Paul. 
the apostle to the Gentiles. And as we went about our series, we slowly unfold the different stages in the life of Paul. So yung una dyan was his conversion, which was reflected in our first topic, Paul, the traveler in Damascus, wherein Saul had an ex- unexpected encounter with Jesus that would change not only his life, but the whole world. So God gave Paul grace and transformed him into a completely different person. And this experience set Paul in an entirely new path. He went from being someone who persecuted the church to someone willing to be persecuted for the church. And his conversion reminds us that no one is outside of God's reach and saving grace. We are reminded that despite our unworthiness, mga kapatid, mahal na mahal tayo ni Lord, and we matter to Him and He cares for us. And yung pangalawa is his mission, which we further discuss in our second topic, Paul, the church building theolog- theologian, which shows how Paul played a unique role in bringing the gospel to the ends of the earth, how Paul traveled to the different Gentile regions to reach and build churches and introduce people to Jesus, and how his scholarly works and sound exposition explain clearly the Christian doctrine clearing up the misinterpretations of the teachings of Jesus. In this, may tita natin that Paul was focused on God's calling in his life. Paul lived for the propagation of the gospel. He ate, slept, and breathed evangelism. He knew what, what he was placed on this earth to do, and he went after it ng full force. Talaga naman. Paul's actions help us realize God can use anybody and absolutely anyone to carry out his mission. And God can change people completely to, to equip them for the work that he wants them to do. And lastly, mga kapatid, we recognize his martyrdom in our last topic, Paul the Martyr. Where after being arrested, imprisoned, and going through much more suffering, Paul was martyred. Through all these, however, he never ceased to proclaim the gospel to anyone who would listen. Paul becomes an example in how to stand firm in Christ. To not get discouraged or to lose heart kapag nagkamali tayo, but instead to continue pressing on to the Lord. And brothers and sisters, Paul's life is a, is a true testament to God's transformative power. Ilan lang to sa mga points that we learn from Paul's life, mga kapatid. At sa lahat ng lessons that we could possibly take away from Paul, it is to know that you are not too, go- too far gone for God to use. That He has a purpose for you, And that in his strength, he can use you to do great things for his kingdom and his glory. Yes, amen, brothers and sisters. We all believe na tayong lahat ay like Saul, who became Paul. May purpose tayo on this earth right now. And that being, we start off this Wednesday of September with a konting katuwaan and icebreaker lang, brothers and sisters. Dahil nagpakita na po tayo ng magagandang ngiti, it's now time to have a konting fun time naman. So, we welcome our other members of the Worship Dance Ministry for the very short activity that they have prepared for us. Let's wait for them. So, I hope everyone will participate and I hope everyone will have fun as we start of our Grand Worship Night tonight. Hi everyone, good evening. Sorry, I still have my mask on because I'm outside the, outside the house, so yun. Um, So tonight, we'll be playing the yes or no game. So um, I hope that all of you will participate. So we're going to play the yes or no game. Here are the rules. So first, um, we will take a volunteer. So if there will be no volunteer, we're going to choose one. And you can tell us either yes or no. But you have to give us your answer first before we give the command or the question to you. So once you give us your answer, you cannot change it anymore, okay? So here's a warning. You may not um you may not want to do everything that is on our list. But I hope everyone will participate and will say yes to our yes or no game. So to start, Michiko could I Michiko could you 
choose a volunteer or is there anyone who wants to Baka volunteer? Baka mag-volunteer muna. Meron po bang gusto mag-volunteer? Ayan, if wala po, sige, mamimili na ako random po. Sino yung unang makita ko dito? Sige. Ayan, yung unang nakita ko ay <laughs> si Ayan, si Sister Luz. Siya yung una ko nakita. <laughs> okay, Sister Luz, um, is it a yes or a no? Hello? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, for our operator, um, could you spotlight Sister Luz? And can you, ta- can you show her her question or her command? She said yes. So, Sister Luz, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. How good is your good today? <laughs> very, very good. And I'm very excited for this night. Wow, uh, praise God. We're so glad to hear that. So next, next volunteer, please. Yun na yun? Yes. Yes po. <laughs> okay, okay, so yung next po. Next. Would like our next contestant. Participant or contestant for the yes or may no. Nag, okay. May nag-raise ng There's hand. There's Jose yeah. Carrera. Tama ba? Jose Carrera. Uh-oh. Yes. Opo. Yes. Good evening po, brother. Good morning. Ay, good morning. Sa <laughs> As I say. Ah. <laughs> uh. So, brother, yes or no? Mm, yes. Yes, of course. Uh, so, ito po yung command nyo. Get a glass of water and drink half of it. <laughs> Kaya po ba, brother? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Asan po yung brother? Kasi hindi ka namin hindi, nakikita. Oh, hindi lang siya nakikita. Kukuha Ay, na daw siya. Ako na. <laughs> yes, narinig ko dun sa layo ng voice brother na lumayo siya sa phone at kumuha ng tubig. <laughs> There we go. Ayan. Ayan na, nagsali na siya sa kanyang baso. Ayan. <laughs> I'm done. So, Ganda lang natin pati ang kanyang paglabok ng tubig. <laughs> parang okay na, done na daw, sister. Parang naubos niya ng pool. <laughs> done. Ayan. Thank you po. Thank you so much. Okay. So, for next. our next volunteer. Meron bang gusto mag-raise ng hands ulit dyan? Oh, pag wala, sige, mamili na lang tayo. Sige. Kung sino ulit una ko makita. Si Francis, na una ko nakita. <laughs> Brother Francis. Brother Francis. Pakishow ang video. Andyan na ba? Ayan, ayan na siya. Ayan. Ready ka na ba sa iyong command? Yes. Tapos na. <laughs> yes daw. <laughs> stand up. Ayan. So for your command, stand up and stretch your arms and say, I feel good. Stand up. I feel good. 
Kailangan mo mag-stretch mo. Stretch your arm. Ay, ng arms. Ay, sasabihin. I feel you. Ayan. Thank you, Brother Francis. Okay, for our next, may nag-volunteer yata. So, Hello? So, is there any volunteer? Uh, sige, I'll choose. Um, Sister Sanes? Sanes? Hello? Yes. Sister Sanes, are you there? Yes. Uh, is it a yes or a no, Sister Sanes? Yes. And another yes. Nakakatuwa naman. Lahat sila nag yes Sige, <laughs> favorite verse. So your command is say your favorite Bible verse. Parang wala yata akong alam. Anything that holds on to your heart, Sister Sam. Uh, Even just a simple verse. Ito. From Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Amen. Thank you, Sister Sanes. Welcome. It is a very nice Bible verse. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> yes. And it is also a message for us na to cast all our cares to our God. Na andyan siya lagi para sa atin. Yes, always. Amen. So, go for our next volunteer, please. Anyone? Hmm. Sige, hanap, 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 hanap. Wait lang. Sister Wila, are you there, Sister Wila? Hello, Sister Wila. Wala ata si Sister Wila. Sige, per ministry tayo. Siya? Ay, andyan pala siya. <laughs> yes. Hi, Sister Wila. Good evening. Uh, they're for a dance na to, diba? So, <laughs> so, is it a yes or a no? Yes. Yes. Yes daw, si Sister Wila. Ano kaya ang nakasulat kay Sister Wila? Raise your hand and say, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. <laughs> wow. Praise God. Napaka-energetic ni Sister Wila. Talagang kitang-kita mong from Dan siya. Thanks, Sister Wila. <laughs> Ayun. So thankful na lahat tayo are saying our yes to our every question. And kahit hindi pa natin alam kung ano yung kailangan natin gawin. So, ilan pa ba? Uh, Another volunteer? Denzel Padatal? Do we have there Denzel Padatal? May nag-volunteer sa inyo? Denzel Padatal? Tama ba yung pagkakasabi ko na pangalan nyo? <laughs> Please correct me if I'm wrong. Or pwede rin, bra, ano, sister, let's call someone else from Jess15, Sister Juvie Almonte. Yes, Sister Juvie. Hello. Hi, Sister Juvie. Hello, good evening. 
Good evening. Good evening. So, si yes, Judy, po. is it a yes or a no? Ay, nauna na siya yes, sumagot sa akin. Po. Yes daw. Yes. Wow. So, your command is go to the next, right, to the person near you and give that person a pat on the back. Okay po. For a while po. Dan na po sa eldest ko. Thank you, Sister Juvie. Thank you. For sure, na to po yung eldest son mo na pinat mo siya sa kanyang back. <laughs> so next, siya, next volunteer, please. Ay nagaaral po. Good luck sa yung pag-aaral sa yung eldest. Daughter po or son po? Son po, son. Thank you. Ah, sa inyong eldest son. Next volunteer pa. Sister Jean, Sister Ariane, is there anyone na gusto niyong... I see father. Ah, si father daw. Si father, father na ikaw ang binolunteer. <laughs> Father Mar, ikaw daw ang volunteer namin. Nag-iisa lang ako rito volunteer ngayon sa akin sa office. <laughs> <laughs> wala akong may papat, wala akong makakaus. Hindi, Kasi iba, ngayon, iba-iba naman Father Mar ang ano, ah, ang command. Ba? O naman. sige. Yes. All right. So, is it a yes or a no, Father Mar? O di sige, yes, try Ito natin. Ni Father uh-huh. Mar, oh. Nako ha. Ayun na nga, na, nambola na kaagad kayo, no ba iya? Ayos daw si Father Mark. Ayan, Father Mark, bagay na bagay sa inyo. Father, sing your favorite yes. worship song. Your command is to sing your favorite worship song. Palagay ko give thanks pa rin, kapatid. Kasi alam mo naman, pag tinignan mo yung buhay nating lahat, sabi nga ni St. Paul, di ba? Biyaya. Biyayang tayo walang karapatan, ngunit tayo pinagbigyan. Kaya give thanks pa rin. Yeah. Oo. Patuloy na pasasalamat na palagay mo, hindi na wala nang katapusan kasi alam mo naman, itong Diyos na to sobrang biyaya ang ating natanggap. Pati ng biyaya ng buhay, <laughs> biyaya ng pagkapari, biyaya ng community biyaya ng mga taong patuloy na nagpaparandam sa atin na tayo'y mahal ng Diyos. So, we have much to be grateful for. Uh, yun ang aking sagot. Okay. Baka pwede naman sa good grandfather. Yes, pwede With a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because is given Jesus Christ. His son. O tama na, baka umulan. Maganda ng weather ngayon dito. <laughs> Ayun, tapos na ang pare. Father. Thank yes. you so much po, Father. Thank you din sa inyo. Alright. Hmm. Alright, since I think uh, wala na ng volunteers, we can summarize our icebreaker there. Any so, perspective from the group to summarize? Okay, guys. Uh, so, our game, the yes or no game, is that it tells us that God calls some people to be missionaries, to be priests, nuns, ministers, and even ministers' sons or wives, or as their family. But there are many other callings too. God uses people as teachers, doctors, farmers, mechanics, and even each and every one of us here. And even the people here in our community, these are the people God uses. So God made each of us for a reason, and that is his special calling just for each and every one of us. So, But if we will not accept God or 
say yes to his calling. You'll miss out on it. So just like Saul, before he accepted Jesus in his life, he did not, he did not knew Jesus and he did not know the, what, is in, what is in store for him. So just like our game, God wants you to say, to say yes to everything. He wants you to do everything that he, is, he wants you to do. It's like telling him yes before he tells you what you, what you need to do. And like Ananias, who wasn't so sure about going to see Saul, who was blind. So you can always trust that God's plan is the best plan. And since God's call for your life is what you were made for, um, although it won't always be easy, it will be the thing you'll love the most when you're walking with Jesus. You'll always have that um, loving heart and a joyful heart when you follow Jesus. So yun lang po kung bakit siya naging yes or no game. Ayan. Thank you, Worship Dance Ministry. Sa nakakatuwa at nakakagising yung icebreaker. And we thank our brothers and sisters for joining this icebreaker at napasabak pa natin si Father Mark. <laughs> Ayan, brothers and sisters, naway na-energize po kayo sa ating mini icebreaker. Sana nakatulong siya para mag-yes tayo sa mga plano ni Lord sa atin tonight. At talaga na ramdam namin ng yes na yes at go na go nyo. Ayan, mga kapatid, let's try to follow in the footsteps of Paul in saying yes to God's call and to continue on his mission. We will now take a look back on the story of Paul the beautiful and transformative story of how a prosecutor becomes a servant. Sabi nga nila, there is a story behind every person and there is a reason why they are the way they are. Brothers and sisters, let's just take a quick trip to the past. Let us all together watch this video on the life of Paul. <laughs> Many years ago, there was a man called Saul who did everything in his power to stop people from following Jesus. He was sure that the followers of Jesus were the enemies of God. He put many of them in prison, and some of them were even killed. Some time later, Saul and his companions were headed for the city of Damascus, where they planned to arrest the followers of Jesus. Suddenly, a bright light flashed around Saul. He fell to the ground in fear and heard a voice that asked him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Saul responded, Who are you, Lord? The voice answered, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Jesus told him to get up and go into the city where he will be told what he should do. So Saul got up, but he could not see. He was blind. His companions had to lead him by the hand and into Damascus to a disciple named Ananias. Jesus told Ananias that he should lay hands on Saul, but Ananias was afraid. He had heard of all the things that Saul had been doing to the followers of Jesus. Jesus assured him that Saul had changed and he had important work for Saul to do. Ananias obeyed Jesus. He found Saul and laid his hands on him. Then Saul was filled with the Holy Spirit and something like scales fell from his eyes. Now he could see again. Then Ananias baptized Saul. Saul was transformed and his new name was Paul. Saul spent 30 days talking with the disciples of Damascus and learning about Jesus. In the synagogues, Saul boldly preached to the Jews that Jesus is the Son of God. Everyone was amazed about the change in Saul and they had trouble believing that the same man who was killing Christians in Jerusalem was now preaching about Jesus in Damascus. The Jewish leaders there decided to declare Saul as traitor and should be killed. Saul found out about their plan and escaped the city and went back to Jerusalem. But because of Saul's reputation in killing the Christians, things did not go well there. 
When he tried to join the disciples, they were afraid of him and would not believe that he was a Christian. God helped a Jewish believer named Barnabas to realize that Saul was a Christian. Barnabas took Saul to the apostles and told them that he saw Paul talk to Jesus on the road to Damascus and how he had preached boldly in the synagogues in Damascus and how he escaped because the Jews wanted to kill him. Finally, the believer in Jerusalem accepted Saul as a true Christian and his name became Paul. Paul spent most of his time preaching and teaching about the Lord. Paul was so bold that he was not afraid to put his life in constant risk. He had to journey thousands of miles by the sail and by foot, establishing many communities of faith. I am not afraid to die. My Lord Jesus died for me. He has already carried my death into a new life. I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. Paul died as the greatest missionary of the church. We would like to thank all the members of our community who contributed in the making of this video to remind us all of the story of Paul. See, brothers and sisters, this intense question, why do you persecute me? Bakit mo ko pinag-uusig? Bakit ka hostile? Bakit mo ko sinasaktan? That question carries a lot with it. Imagine receiving that question from someone close to you or your idol or intensely receiving that question from the Lord himself. This is the question that the Lord asks Saul. From the beginning of the story, we find the predicament of Saul in that he was a believer of God from the start and he thought he was doing something right according to his belief by stopping the believers of Jesus. The Lord recognized this and decided to give Saul a chance. Saul was going to Damascus to kill Jesus' followers when the Lord intercepted his journey, Paul experienced that epiphany. Then he still continued his journey to Damascus, but now with a different goal, which was to preach about Jesus. This is the story of how the Lord decided to make his presence in Paul's journey. Paul's story is, again, a trip of the past, as Arian said, and we read it now in the Bible as something of our history, of our faith. But we see and relate to this even in the present, brothers and sisters. Sometimes it is our journey that the Lord intercepts for the better. Or a lot of times, we are the instruments for the journey of others, naman, brothers and sisters. Today, we are fortunate to hear the stories and journeys of our other brothers and sisters here in the Acts community. They will tell us how God has recently touched their lives. And as we all know, we were recently blessed by the Lord with the successful Jess 15 and a few new members in our community. Let's all make them feel that warm acts welcome again as we hear a few of them and a few of their stories. So again, thank you and welcome to our Jess 15 members in behalf of the Acts community. And that being, uh, we would like to now hear the journey that they would like to share to us. So sharing with us a part of his life and a part of him, actually, and how he has been saved both physically and spiritually by the Lord in his journey, we welcome Brother R.R. R. Nares. Um, ako po yung son ni Mary Ann Nares. Um, gusto ko po share yung buhay ko before po ako. Um, mag-join dito sa Acts. And galit po ako sa broken family. <laughs> Um, lumaka din po ako sa lola ko um, during my younger days and nagbebelde po ako at uh, sila po ang buhay ang nagpalaki lang po sa akin yung mother ko um, lahat po binigay niya lahat ng luho 
mamahal pero hindi ko po siya na-appreciate kasi um, wala po kasi yung guidance ni Lord. Um, dumating din po sa point na um, marami pong best na sinalba rin po yung buhay ko. Um, pati yung relationship ko din po nasira. So, dito ko po talaga na-realize na talagang wala pong guidance si Lord eh magulo po ang lahat. Sa so, po sa mga struggle sa buhay ko yung naaksidente po yung mother ko. Magulo po sa third floor and ground floor po. Ito sa kakondo sa Santa Mesa na tinitira po namin before. At pati yung sa lili ko pong buhay eh um Itawan ko na rin po. Binigti ko po yung sarili ko. Tapos, ayun, uh, um, isa po sa mira ka na nangyari sa buhay ko po yung nagbuhay pa po ako. Tapos, para, para po wala nangyari. Ngayon ko lang po na-appreciate na mahal po ako ni Lord. Kaya, kaya po ako um, nag-focus sa po dito sa tulong na Axe Community na mapalapit po at saka makilala ko po si Lord na lubusan kasi maraming besta po niya akong hindi pinabayaan. Hanggang ngayon po, tapos pati yung family ko po, mother ko po, hanggang ngayon, um, okay pa rin po siya. So, sorry po maayos yung buhay ko. At tulong po na Axe Family, yan ba po ako na tinanggap po ulit ako. Thank you, Brother RR, for that brave sharing. Nagpapasalamat si Brother RR sa Axe Community sa pagtanggap. Kami rin, Brother, sa Axe Community ay nagpapasalamat sa iyong pagsama sa amin at pagtanggap ng tawag na makasama mo ang Axe Community sa iyong journey from now on. Brothers and sisters, by human nature, we can sometimes be really hard on ourselves for our mistakes or find it hard to keep strong in times of extreme despair. Very normal and very human naman po yun. I think there is a question I read before na parang, if God really exists, then why does evil still persist in the world? Those type of question na why do we experience pain? Why does he allow people to still get tempted? And I remember seeing one explanation for this is that the reason is God is giving us that free will to keep choosing Him despite the presence of these other forces. And sometimes it is hard to do so, but once we do choose Him, then we are stronger than ever before. Once we are able to find victory from our situation and peace in our mistakes in the past, we are then stronger. Si Saul nga po, brothers and sisters, ay naging Paul. So tired and in, the, in our journey of struggling and winning, the Lord stays with us all throughout and loves us truly. Because God knows we are imperfect people, so He will love us regardless and nothing that we do can ever change that. So Brother our our sharing reminds us that our situation, our times of weakness, our mistakes, they do not define us. However, they only provide the opportunity for us to grow and choose God. So don't get discouraged by your mistakes, but allow God to use them to transform and make you stronger than ever. So that you, in His perfect time, can be an encouragement to those around you. So in the journey of Paul, brothers and sisters, there was a time, even after his epiphany, that people still did not believe that he had changed. Maybe they saw that after everything he has done, it seemed impossible na magbabago pa yung ganitong person. But brothers and sisters, we are reminded that the Lord has been making His presence in our lives, whatever situation, stage of life, and age we are in. Because we are all His children. Bata, matanda, anak ka ng Panginoon. So now, we will hear from a younger new member of our community. Let us now welcome with open minds and loving hearts, Sister Christine Flores, again from Jess 15. Hi, sisters and brothers in Christ. Ako si Christine at ibabahagi ko ang aking personal na paglalakbay patungo sa bagong pamumuhay para sa Panginoon. 
Simulan ko ang kwento ko sa aking childhood days. Nung bata pa ako, hindi gaanong maayos ang sitwasyon ng pamilya ko. Hindi ko masyadong close ang tatay ko at madalas mag-away akong mga magulang. Hindi din ako close sa mga kapatid ko. Sa mga panahon na yun, ako ay, na- ako ay na-expose sa pornography. Nabinuksan ko ang computer namin dahil nakaiwan si tatay ng pornographic pictures doon. Dahil din din masyado nababantayan ang mga pinapanood ko ng mga pelikula na hantong ako agad sa sexual gratification at a young age. Hanggang maharating ako ng high school, hindi ko pa rin napigil ang duksot ng porn dahil feeling ko ito ang escape ko sa mga stress sa sitwasyon namin sa bahay at sa bullying ng classmates ko. Kapag naiiyak na ako dahil pinabuli ng aking mga kaiskwela, wala ako mapagsumbungan sa bahay kasi busy ang mga kapatid ko at minsan lang nasa bahay si mama. Kung umuwi man si mama, sa bahay ay laging gabi na. Hindi naman ako makapagsabi sa tatay ko dahil ayaw din niya ma-stress sa mga kwento ko. May mga moments na napunta ako sa masamang influensya. At the age of 15, nag-try ako makipag-chat online sa mga iba't ibang lalaki. At ito ay humuntong sa pakipag-relasyon sa mga hindi ko kakilala. Lahat ng ito ay tinago ko sa aking pamilya. Takot ako na hindi nila matanggap at di nila ako maintindihan. Sinubukan kong hanapin na pagmamahal at atensyon sa mga maling tao. Sa totoo lang, ang selfish ko nun kasi after a few years, naging maayos din naman ang sitwasyon sa pamilya. Pero patuloy ko pa din niloko ang sarili ko at ang pamilya ko. Sa huli, ako rin ang nasaktan at napalayo sa Diyos. Nung college student na ako, Napasok ako sa Catholic School. Mas maraming pagkakataon na akong maka-attend ng misa, pero malayo pa din ang loob ko sa Diyos. Ang dami ko pa rin pagdududa sa Kanya. Madalas naisip ko na pabigat lang ako sa pamilya at yung stress sa academics ko ay mas napalala ang suicidal thoughts ko. May boyfriend din ako nung mga panahon na yun at ito ay tinabi ko sa pamilya ko. Nagrebelde ako at nagsinungaling ako para makapagkita kami ng boyfriend ko. Nung nalaman ito ng pamilya ko, ay di nila matanggap yung relasyon namin. Dahil dun, mas napalayo ang loob ko sa aking pamilya. Hindi rin naman nagtagal ang relasyon namin ng boyfriend ko dahil sa sin of the flesh. Nagpatukso kasi ako kay Satan. At paulit-ulit ito nangyari sa iba't ibang lalaki pa. Hiyang-hiya ako ng Hiyang-hiya ako sa pamilya ko, pero nung nalaman nila ito, pinatawa nila ako. Nitong, pang, nitong pandemic, napatigil ako at napaisip sa mga kasalanan ko. Ang mama ko talaga ang nag-encourage sa akin na manumbalik sa Panginoon. Ngayong pandemic, mas naging maayos ang pamilya namin. Masasabi ko na hindi na ako, hindi na ako babalik sa dating madilim na buhay. Napilit kong kinakaya na hindi kasama ang pamilya at ang Panginoon. Sa ngayon, nakakabahalang isipin kung mawawala ang Panginoon at pamilya sa aking buhay. Sa totoo lang, ngayong pandemya lang din ako naging active sa church. Nag-join ako ng religious communities at ngayon nandito ako nagsasalita para ibahagi ang aking buhay. Di ako perpekto. Madami pa din akong di alam tungkol sa Panginoon. Pero narealize ko na ang ultimate goal ko dapat ay magawa ang misyon ng Diyos para sa akin. Nabulag, nagbulag-bulagan kasi ako dati kaya hindi ko nakita na ang pagmamahal at detensyon na hinahanap ko noon ay nasa Panginoon lang pala sa lahat ng sandali. May pagmamayabang ko kahit hindi ako perpekto, ang pagmamahal niya ang nagpalakas sa akin dahil pinatawad niya ako. Katulad ng dalawang alagad na naglalakad patungong Eneos. Kasama ko pala ang Panginoon sa madilim kong paglalakbay, ngunit dahil nga ako ay nagbulagan, hindi ko ito namamalayan. 
Kailangan pang magparamdam ang Panginoon sa pamamagitan ni Mama upang mamulat ako sa katotohanang maipagmahal at mapapagpatawad ang Diyos. Katulad ng dalawang alagad, may galak ako sa puso na patuloy na maglalaktay sa buhay, maliwanag ang daan, malinaw ang misyon. Salamat, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Sister Christine, for your courageous sharing. Mga kapatid, we are all in the midst of a journey that we call life. Siyempre, sa isang journey, may mga panahon na maliligaw tayo. We get lost and we take a lot of wrong turns. And the feeling of being lost could be overwhelming at times. Sometimes we just want to escape it badly to the point where we go the easy way out or we just get stuck on that wrong turn. In relation to Paul, kung naaalala niyo mga kapatid, he was in a series of wrong turns. But the Lord helped him get back on track. He was told to continue into Damascus and this begins a faith walk for Paul. He was blind, being led by his companions into a city where he is known and is expected to arrive as a persecutor. And there he meets, he meets Ananias. Brothers and sisters, In this journey, we meet a lot of people. And just like Ananias to Paul, he sends these people in our lives for a reason. To help us, to teach us a lesson, and to bring, to bring us closer to him. And Christine has been blessed with her mom in this community. They were indeed God's way of leading her back to his direction. And brothers and sisters, Christine sharing gives, gives us this motivation to have faith in the Lord Enough to remember that we won't feel or remain lost forever. Kasi mahal niya tayo, tanggap niya tayo ng buong buo, at binibigyan niya tayo ng only chances to find our way back to Him. Mga kapatid, God remains our single source of truth in this journey of life. He remains our mighty and enduring compass. And even despite all the mistakes and wrong turns that we make along the way, God never fails to remind us that He walks with us in this journey and points us to the right direction and how beautiful and worth it the destination could be. And with that, brothers and sisters, we move on to our next sharer, giving us a heartwarming story of her journey to reuniting with the Lord through our community, Sister Maria Delia Daya. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I am Maria Delia Dayapo, and you can call me Del. So I'm actually from Quezon Province, but I'm working here in Thailand for almost 16 years now. So before just 15 last July, I was already experiencing depression, feeling that my life is no direction and no purpose at all. As a teacher, I know that I was helping and guiding my students, but there's something which was haunting me. It was at the beginning of this year when the pain and loneliness started to overpower me. I started hating myself and some people who became a part of who I am now. My feelings, well, my feelings improved uh, for a while. Every time I was celebrating the mass with you online in FB and when I was uh, watching all your posts, I was just still not happy. I was always wondering how I could be a part of the Zoom mass with Father Mar, but not knowing how to join and thinking that I couldn't be a good part of the community, I was discouraged. So from Acts 9 verse 13, it was said, Lord Ananias answered, I have heard many reports about this man and all the harm he has done to your holy people in Jerusalem. I felt that I was like Saul, who had done nothing but harm, that I failed being a Christian because of what I've done, the unforgivable sins I've committed in the past. Feeling ko po yung ang dumi-dumi ko, and I hate myself for that. Yun, pa, yun po pala yun, galit, nagkalit ako sa sarili ko. Hindi ko mapatawad ang sarili ko, pati ang ilang mga taong naging bahagi ng buhay ko. 
for many years i felt i felt like i lived alone and when facing other people i needed to hide uh, the person i was ayoko pong malaman ng ibang tao kung anong pinagdaanan ko wala pong nakakaalam ng deepest secret ko except the person involved and the lord takot po akong makondem lalo na at hindi ko din naman alam kung sino ba ang maaaring makaunawa kung sino at ano ba ako at ang mga pinagdaanan ko sa buhay. So balit ang pumasok po ang taon na ito, parang sasabong na po ako. I was always asking why I needed to pretend. Bakit kailangan ko na magtago at laging itago kung ano man ang nagawa ko dati? These questions led me to hate myself kasi nagagalit po talaga ako sa sarili ko. Feeling ko talaga na di po ako karapat dapat na maging kristyano. About three months ago, I found myself crying almost every night, asking God to help, guide, and tell me what to do. Then Acts Catholic Prayer Community, which I have been following in FB, posted Jez's announcement. I had no idea at that time, but I was happy upon knowing it and immediately registered. In Acts 9 verse 15, it said, But the Lord said to Ananias, Go. This man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings to the people of Israel. During the first session of the jazz, I met my lovely, kind, and caring shepherd. Nagkiisa lang po akong lamb niya noon. So that night, I was praying and truly felt that Acts Catholic community is God's chosen instrument para mapatawad ko po ang sarili ko through my shepherd, Ati Mean. I have never told anyone about me, but we nasa breakout room po kami and she's asking me questions kahit may apprehension. Sinasagot ko po. I know the Holy Spirit was telling me during those times to be open to her. After so many years na tinago ko po, I finally shared it. And that night, pakiramdam ko po ay naging malaya ako. My shepherd told me the goodness of God na pwede palang magpatawad sa mga nagawa ko. And I realize, ako lang po pala yung hindi makapagpatawad sa aking sarili. Finally, naging totoo po ako sa sarili ko. Pagkatapos po ng napakaraming taon kong pagkakulong sa aking nakaraan, nakalaya po ako. And I feel truly blessed. Nang gabi pong yun, nakatulog po ako ng napakahaba na di ko po talaga naranasan ng matagal na matagal na panahon. Through our prayer meetings and Bible studies, mas lumalalim pa po ang pananampalataya ko at pagkakilala ko kay Lord. Sabi nga po sa Acts 9 verse 18, Immediately something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he could see again. He got up and was baptized. Parang ganun po naramdaman ko ng mga oras na yun nang kausap ko si Ati Mean. If Saul can see again, ako naman po parang nabigyan ng bagong buhay. Yun po bang buhay na masaya akong gigising sa umaga? my directions, at kahit alam kong ang dami kong gagawin, I feel na parang kayang-kaya ko, kayang-kaya ko kasi alam kong nandun si Kristo na pinatawad na ako at kahit kailan na hindi naman ako iniwan. Alam niyo po bang, sa napakatagal na panahon, ay di ko masabi na, Lord, I love you. Iling ko naman po kasi, di ako karapat dapat. Pero ngayon, dahil po sa biyaya ng Diyos at sa tulong po ninyo, Parati ko na siyang nasasabi at sobrang saya every time na nasasabi ko ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. I'm so blessed po na nakasama po ako sa Just 15 kasi kung di po, baka po wala na ako sa sarili ko. Salamat po sa inyong lahat, lalo na po sa shepherd ko na patuloy niya nag-guide sa akin. She's helping me to process everything that happened to me in the past. Napakalaking bagay po na nasasabi ko sa kanya ang Maraming bagay sa buhay ko. Salamat po sa inyong lahat. Sa totoo lang po, this community is the best gift I've ever received from God. He, the Lord, freed me from my prison through you. Magandang gabi po and God bless you all. Amen, 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 brothers and sisters. We thank the Lord for the gift of Sister Del, for her sharing and opening up to us tonight. We also thank the Lord for her shepherd, 
who truly guided her in her journey. And as Acts members, we thank the Lord for this platform and this opportunity to make an impact like that to other people, to become shepherds and become instruments of the Lord, to evangelize and bring people closer to Him. We are very grateful for that. I know all of us as members of Acts are. Brothers and sisters, the story of Sister Del may have reminded a lot of us of our own stories. We keep repeating it's a spiritual journey because it's exactly that. It's a journey. It is not always a high and it is not perfect and it is not the same for everyone. But we always remember that our feelings are valid. Our thoughts are secured and most importantly, our faith is our safety. That during this journey, during the strong and the weak moments, God is always telling you, I love you. Even if it's hard for us to say sometimes, the Lord is telling you always, I love you. God loves you. God loves us. Because similar to Paul, no matter how far we run, kahit hundreds of thousands of wrong steps pa yan, palayo from our Lord, one look back, isang lingon lang, the Lord is waiting for you right there to welcome you in His loving arms and put your palms in His hands and guide you in your journey back. Because the Father tells us all, My child, you are forgiven. He offers us unconditional love that goes beyond all mistakes and insecurity, all pain, all hatred. We find security in the love of the Lord. Because He has forgiven us out of love, and we too are able to forgive ourselves and others because of that love. And we are all grateful to feel that love every day and in everything that we do. And of course, in a special way, through the Axe community. Each of us coming from different walks of life, yung iba, iba pa ang time zone, from different spiritual journeys, different stories. We are all separate individuals, but we are all bound tonight by the Lord's love and will to come together and form this community in prayer and worship to Him. And I'm sure we all know the verse in Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. When two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in their midst. Imagine the Lord's presence in each of us by the strength of prayer, brothers and sisters. And so tonight, gathered not just two or three individuals, but as one community coming to the Lord, we are gathered and led by our Sister Rocks in united prayer and powerful worship. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Let's all give the Lord a warm clap of praise for the gift of our community. Thank you, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat. Alam niyo po, mga kapatid, we are very blessed to have our creative team na gumawa po ng um, short video na pinanood natin kanina. At mapagpala rin po ang ating Panginoon sapagkat nagpapadala siya sa atin ng mga bagong members through our recently concluded JES. Um, nagpapasalamat po tayo sa ating sharers for tonight na kahit bago sila sa community, they had courage and they had that passion to really share about the goodness of the Lord and how He has worked in their lives. Amen? Palapakan nga po natin ulit ang ating Panginoon. We're just so happy. Thank you, thank you, Lord, because we are so blessed to have this Acts community. Ayan. Brothers and sisters, marami tayong natutunan tungkol sa buhay ni St. Paul for this month. No? And I want to just encourage each and every one of us who is going through tough times, no? who's just um, committed to having this walk with the Lord. Alam niyo po, bawat isa sa atin, merong kanya-kanyang journey na pinagdadaanan. May kanya-kanya tayong challenges, may kanya-kanya tayong kwento. Maaring hindi lahat sa atin ay makakapagbahagi ngayong gabi, but we have so much time, brothers and sisters, to share the life of each other kapag nagkita-kita tayo muli sa mga susunod nating activities. But what we can learn from uh, this month's talk series is that all of us are going, going to go through the different phases of life of St. Paul. 
bawat isa po sa atin, may kanya-kanya tayong Damascus story. We all know uh, yung mga personal accounts natin kung paano tayong tinawag ng Panginoon. How He has called us out of darkness and into His marvelous light. Amen. Hindi ko po sinasabi na lahat tayo ay um, perfect na, no? Alam naman po natin hindi. But, it's heartening to know that in spite our imperfections, kagaya rin ni St. Paul, in spite of his many, many um, shortcomings, in spite of his many sins, tinawag at pinili siya ng Panginoon, kagaya, rin, kagaya ninyo, brothers and sisters, kagaya nating lahat, tinawag tayo ng Panginoon for a for a life of fulfillment with Him. Amen? This is such a privilege. And I know, lahat po tayo dadaan din sa tinatawag na church building phase, kagaya ni St. Paul. Right now, you might be called to witness, kagaya po ng mga kapatid natin, you might be called to share God's news, God's good news to your family, to your friends, or even to people na hindi natin kilala. And we, each of us, share that wonderful responsibility and privilege to reach out to other people, to help nourish people, to introduce God to them so that mas marami pang makakilala sa ating Panginoon. Amen po ba? Excited po ba tayong gawin yon? I know I am. I know you are as well. And of course, hindi naman po Lingid sa ating kaalaman na itong mga panahon na to are very, very challenging to a lot of us. And ito po, dumadaan din tayo sa mga pagsubok. Meron din tayong parang martyrdom phase na pinagdadaanan. Kagaya ni St. Paul, he, he was isolated, he was imprisoned, his freedom was, was taken from him, but not his spiritual freedom, not his freedom to be joyful and to rejoice in God. So brothers and sisters, wag po tayong paghihinaan ng kalooban. Do not be discouraged. Never lose heart. Do not fear. No matter what you are going through, nandito po ang community para sa inyo. At nandito, of course, si Lord para gabayan tayo. Amen. Kanina po, narinig natin yung mga kapatid natin na nagbigay ng kanilang sharing of how God has touched their lives. Even though bago lang po sila sa community, graduate sila ng ating recently concluded JES, I admire them for their boldness, their honesty, and their passion to serve God through their testimonies, through their witnessing. I pray mas marami pa po sa atin ang magkalakas ng loob. You know? And we would like to share with you, brothers and sisters, a compilation of some of the other shorter testimonies from our other brothers and sisters. Please watch this short video. Hurricane, I am a tree Bending beneath The weight of His wind and mercy When all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions Eclipsed by glory And I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me. And oh, how he loves us. Oh, how He loves us so. 
Were you blessed, brothers and sisters? I know I was. Tayong lahat po ay meron tayong before and after no, na testimony. What the kind of life we used to live, uh, the kind of person we used to be before Christ called us, and the after, kung sino na tayo ngayon. We may not be perfect, we may still have a lot of shortcomings, we may still have a long way to go in our walk with God. But what's important is that we know He is walking with us and that we are still going to improve day by day. Amen? We're going to be better people tomorrow and the next day and the day after that and so on. And we are all excited to keep walking with the Lord. Amen? Brothers and sisters, we have so much to thank the Lord for. We are blessed not just because of the provisions that God continues to give us, but because of the little things that He sends to us each day. The gift of life, the gift of health, the gift of friends and family who are here to support us, to strengthen us, to nourish us spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Hindi po mawawala ang problema, mga kapatid. Lahat tayo dumadaan dyan habang nandito tayo sa mundong ito. Pero, nandito rin ang ating mga kaibigan, ang ating community na ibinigay ng ating Panginoon upang umalalay, upang gumabay sa atin. And, if we are really aware of all the blessings that God has been pouring out on us and on our loved ones, how can we not but thank God? Amen? And tonight, because this is a worship night, a special night where we dedicate our all to God, let us lift up our hands, our hearts, and everything that we have, brothers and sisters, to glorify the Lord, to really magnify Him, to, to just thank Him for everything that He has given us. And what better way to do that than by telling Him that, Lord, we promise to spread Your Word we promise to spread your gospel to other people, to those who have not yet known you. Gaya po ni St. Paul, sana po ma-inspire tayo sa buhay niya. That he became the apostle to the Gentiles. We know Christ right now, brothers and sisters, because after, after Jesus, another man, one man, St. Paul, had the courage, the boldness to proclaim God's word to the Gentiles. Lord, we pray that tonight you will also empower us to be your disciples, your preachers, your instruments to the world. Let us pray. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the life of St. Paul. Thank you because you have given him to us as an example of how a Christian should walk. Lord, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng pagkatuto namin ngayong buwan na ito. We admit, Lord, sometimes we get intimidated. Sometimes, iniisip po namin, hindi namin kakayanin yung mga pinagdaanan ng iba pang mga Christians na nagdaan na. Yung mga, mga taong iniidolo namin, mga taong hinahangaan namin, Lord, Sometimes we feel, kaya ba namin to? Kaya ba namin mag-proclaim? Kaya ba namin maging disciples mo, Lord? Na hindi lamang sa susunod kami sa iyo, kung hindi papalaganapin pa namin ang iyong salita. It's a tough call, Lord. Especially when we know we will go through sufferings, we will go through trials. And we admit, Lord God, Sometimes we are afraid. 
But Lord, tonight, we take courage in the fact that in the life of St. Paul, you've never left him. But Lord, you empowered all of your servants from St. Paul to St. Peter to all the disciples, Lord, and even those contemporary disciples, Lord, who mentor us, our spiritual director, our spiritual advisors, yun pong mga taong nagpapahayag ng mga salita mo sa amin, Lord, para lalo ka pa namin makilala. Lord, we take, we take courage because through their lives and through the lives of other people whom you send our way, we know that you will equip us and that you will never leave our side, Lord. Ano mang bagay ang pinapagawa mo sa amin, alam namin, you will empower us. You will never ask us to do anything na hindi mo kami sinasamahan o ginagawayan. Lord, we are so grateful not just for you saving us, but for making us feel your love, for making us feel that we are really special to you, for making us feel that we are enough, that we are enough for you, Lord, just as you are enough for us. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, because you never wait for us to be perfect before you call us. You call us where we are, and slowly you transform us into people that you want us to be. Nagpapasalamat kami, Panginoon, dahil kahit naging marumi kami, naging makasalanan kami, you, you give us the opportunity and the privilege to worship you come before you, to just be in your presence, Lord. What a wonderful privilege that is. We thank you for that, Lord, for sharing your life with us, for sharing who you are with us, and the outpouring of love and gratefulness we have for you, Lord, just makes us so excited to also share you with other people. Mas matindi, Panginoon, ang pagnanais naming maibahagi ka sa iba kaysa sa kaba namin, kahit sa anumang takot, kahit sa anumang pag-aalinglangan. Lord, we just want to shout your name to the whole world. We want to shout your praises, Lord, that everyone will hear the name of Jesus, that everyone will just bow down to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. We're so excited to proclaim your name, Lord. We're not going to let this pandemic stop us. We are not going to let our circumstances hinder us. We're not going to let anything Lord, prevent us from just sharing you to the rest of the world. And Lord, empower us. Be with us. And just touch the hearts of the people, Lord God, who are listening tonight. Just touch the hearts. Use us as your instruments, Lord. Use us. Use us, Father. Use us, Jesus. And let us proclaim your name to the ends of the earth.
This is our prayer, Lord, that the world may see that you are God, that you are our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray that you continue to bless us, that you continue to bless our community, Lord. We pray that you will empower us to touch more lives, to touch more hearts, to win more souls for your kingdom, Lord. And we pray that we are going to be your soldiers, that we will grow deeper in love with you, that we will have more commitment, that we will have more passion to serve you and to walk with you. Not just today, not just during this worship night, not just tomorrow, but for the rest of our lives, Lord. This we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Palakpakan po natin ulit ang ating Panginoon for the gift of worship, for the privilege to just praise God and thank Him for everything that He has done. Yes, Lord, we are going to spread Your Word to the ends of the earth hanggang kaya po namin because we are just so thankful, we are just so amazed, we are just so wonderfully in love with You, Lord God, for everything that You've done, for all that You are for us, Lord. Thank you, thank you, and we love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sana po, mga kapatid, na bless tayo sa ating worship for tonight. And alam naman po natin, hindi matatapos ang worship natin sa pag-awit lamang o pagtaas ng kamay. We know that the best way to worship God is to give Him our everything. And our everything isn't just about words and isn't just about songs. It is about giving a sacrifice of praise to the Lord. Ngayon pong mga panahon to, alam kong hindi lahat sa atin ay mayroong ikakakaya, may ikakasobra. And that's okay, brothers and sisters. But if you are um, led by the Lord to give, to offer back to Him even just a small portion of what He has blessed you with, then I encourage you, magbigay po tayo para sa ating Panginoon. And ngayon po sa inyong screens, naka-flash ang account numbers ng ating Agapetos Foundation Incorporated. Um, maari po kayong mag-transfer no, through the bank details provided. We also have GCash numbers, dalawa po yan as you can see. Ang importante po ay magpadala kayo ng proof of deposit or bank transaction through Brother Hernand. And 
Tandaan po natin, it's not the amount that matters, but really what the heart is willing to cheerfully give. Ayan, sabi nga natin, acts, the C in acts stands for cheerful giving. So wala pong pilitan nito, what your heart wants to give, then we are very, very grateful for that. Amen? Ayan. Let us now, brothers and sisters, um, pray to God for the offerings that we give to Him tonight. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po for the opportunity that you gave us, the privilege you continue to give us to give back to you from what abundance you have provided. Panginoon, hindi po sasapat ang uh, binibigay namin para matumbasan ang mga regalong araw-araw mong ipinag kakaloob sa amin. But Lord, we hope and we pray that you will be glorified with whatever we give tonight. Sana po multiply what we are able to give. Bless us even more that we may be able to give even more. That we may be able to bless more people, Lord. Sana po give us generous hearts. Give us hearts of faith, Lord, na magtitiwala sa inyong provisions, na magtitiwala sa inyong patuloy na paggabay sa amin. All this we ask in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters, and God bless. Amen and amen. Indeed, our Lord deserves the highest praise and exaltation for His mercy and grace. He has called, saved, and transformed us to be made perfect in His love. And you will continue to respond to his call and to proclaim his glory, his greatness to the ends of the earth. We thank the Lord for the gift of a spirit-filled worship through Sister Rocks. And we also thank our brothers and sisters who have blessed and allowed us to be witnesses to their testimonies. Let us give our loving Father another resounding virtual clap offering. Ayan. Yes, brothers and sisters, I'm sure lahat tayo na-touch and na-bless sa ating worship and sa mga nakita nating cardboard testimonies for today. And as we continue with our grand worship tonight, and we have heard a few stories and read testimonies of our brothers and sisters who felt a huge impact through the Axe community tonight, we also want to celebrate someone who I'm sure has been a shepherd to us all. Someone who was able to impact and touch, I'm sure, every life in this online celebration right now. Sino pa ba, brothers and sisters? Who else could I be talking about? None other than our spiritual director, Father Mario Sobrewanite. At kahit malayo po si Father Mar sa atin ngayon, he is still able to impact our lives. Preach to us and kanina, kinantahan pa tayo, brothers and sisters. And so, kahit hindi magkakasama, we also want to celebrate and greet Father Mario who is celebrating his birthday on September 30. So, feel free, brothers and sisters, to use the chat feature in our Zoom to greet our spiritual director a happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday sa batang-batang Father Mario nating lahat. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, feel free. Ayan, greetings for Father Mario. We wish you all the best, truly, Father Mar. One of the greatest blessings of Acts community. And we are able to bless other people because of you. And tonight, we would like to offer a few efforts for Father Mario from a song. Tayo naman po ang kakanta. And of course, our gift. So we hope you enjoy the things we have prepared for you tonight, Father Mar. ay namin Diyos Ama na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Patuloy po ang mga gulo sa mundo, ang pagdami ng mga nagkakasakit at nangangamatay na tao. Panginoon, hindi po kami natatakot dahil nananalig kami na ang pagtawag sa ngalan mo ay magbibigay ng kapatawaran, liwanag at pag-asa. Naniniwala kami na darating sa aming buhay ang pagpapala ng isang umagang kay ganda. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Amen.
Talagang umagang kay ganda ang ating awit for Father Mario on his birthday. Kasi kada linggo simula dati, napapaganda niya ang ating umaga. And until now, Father Mar, patuloy niyo pong napapaganda ang umaga naming lahat through your words, through your smile, and through your song. <laughs> and now, you would like to, of course, Give a happy birthday song to our Father Mario. Feel free to open your videos, everyone, and clap and lip sync to the song. And let's all greet our Father Mario. Once again has come your birthday. Once again this time has come. Sobrang, sobrang maraming, maraming salamat. Ay, si Ernan. So, sobrang. I, you have to say something before. I, I would like to speak, uh, Ernan. Sige pa. Sige pa. Uh, Good evening po, brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father Mario. In behalf of the Acts Catholic Prayer Community, I would like to greet you a happy birthday. Ask is one in praying for your good health and wisdom so that you may continue to be a blessing to people around the world. You inspire a lot of people at libong-libong tao ang inyong natutulong, ang maliwanagan, ang maraming bagay tungkol sa pagiging tunay na Kristiyano. More than nine years ago, you inspired the founders of this community to be bound in one heart, one mind, and one spirit. Hindi po namin alam kung saan hahantong ang pagbuo ng isang bagong community. 
but the founders trusted and followed you. And here we are, still being perfected, but surely have accomplished a lot of good things. Through these nine years, you have continued to be a guiding light for the community. You bring in people and definitely sponsors. Hindi naman sekreto that you attract people with your charisma, backed up by well-prepared and beautifully delivered homilies and talks. Resibo po ang mga graduates ng JS1 to 15 na kasama natin ngayon who decided to journey with us. Para po kasing seal of quality kapag nakakabit ang pangalang pa- Padre Mario Sobrewanete. Sobra. Iyon pong assignment niyo dyan sa Rome ay isang mabigat na pangyayari para sa ating community. Um, maraming, uh, malaking agam-agam na naramdaman ng bawat isa sa inyong pag-alis. But at the same time, it has been a source of pride for us knowing that we are the only community that you personally shepherd. Ilan po bang community sa Pilipinas ang may spiritual director na na-assign sa Rome? At take note, ha, nakakasalamu ang Santo Papa. Ang aksang yata ang alam kong ganun. Happily also, the distance is not preventing you from continually guiding and inspiring the direction of our community by being there when we need your advice and inspiration. You are truly a gift to our community and Ax will forever be grateful to you. And because of that, accept this small gift with love from all of us. Buen kumplian niyo, Father Mario, que el Signore te protega siempre. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Nagitayad pa kayo. <laughs> Ang translation po niyon. Happy birthday, Father Mario, and may the Lord continue to protect you. <laughs> Salamat, Salamat, Erna. All right. Okay. Uh, anyone else is going to speak? Uh, Good evening, Father Mario. Hi, good evening. Yeah. Sino ito? Uh, si Roel po, Father. Hi. Um, okay. Allow me to, um, to give this short prayer for you, Father Mario. Please. Uh-uh. Okay, uh, I would like to uh, encourage everyone to focus on your some device and let us raise our hands towards uh, Father Mario. Our gracious and generous Lord, we praise and glorify your mighty name as we are filled with gratitude for the life of Father Mario, whose birthday we are celebrating today. For the gifts of and talents of Father Mario have truly blessed his ministry, our community, and the church. Please continue to fill him up with your presence that you may be glorified through him, that your spirit continue to empower him that he may be able to proclaim more the truth of your word with courage and determination. Help him keep focused on the directions that you would like him to take that he may be able to accomplish the plans you have for his ministry. Help him find rest that he may be able to refresh and renew his energy and spirit for the demands of his ministry. Continue to fill him with wisdom, that he may take all the right choices, as wisdom will lead to happiness and longevity of life. And surround him by your love and the love of the people whom he inspired to lead their lives in union with you, our loving God. All these we ask, In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday, Father Maria. Salamat, Roel. Salamat. That was a beautiful prayer. Ayan ang kailangan natin. All right. Wonderful. Thank you, Brother Ernan, Brother Roel, and thank you to our Axe Minstrels and, of course, this whole community for preparing a delightful and heartwarming presentation. Talaga naman napakaganda ng bawat araw at buhay sa community na to, lalo na kapag kasama natin si Father Moore. And with Thank that, you. Thank you, Arian. <laughs> let us hear some touching words from Father Moore. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, ako nasa sad ngayon that it's only now that I took time 
to listen and join you in your prayer meeting. Gagamitin ko yung phrase na ginamit nung isang nanood minsan for the first time kay Amon Morissette. No? Ang kumanta siya ng Rise Up Bayon or something like that. Ang word na ginamit siya sapagkat ito'y British eh, I am shocked. <laughs> I am shocked. Ako, honestly, I am shocked. Shocked by the incredible talent that this community has. Shocked by the creativity that you all have shown today. And shocked by the boldness in the spirit of those who have shared their lives. The courage that they have to open their world, their life to the whole world and speak of this incredible God. Siguro talaga, as I celebrate my 66th, ang tanda ko na, birthday, I cannot but truly repeat, kasi yung tinanong ako kanina when I shared with you, when I was asked to join doon sa teaser, Father, ano yung song mo? The first thing that came into my mind is exactly that. Give thanks. And if you look at the text of the words, it really tells us the reason of that giving thanks. You know, Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He has given us His only Son, Jesus Christ. You know, John 3.16, yung pag-ibig na nagtutulak sa isang Diyos, hindi lamang na magbigay, kundi magbigay ng todo-todo at para talaga maramdaman natin yung kanyang pagmang, magpapakubaba to the point of dying on the cross for us. And that song will continue. At ano yun? And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Hindi dahil sa sariling kakayanan. Kaya ang ganda, kanina yung cardboard, I could not even believe that you could come up with an idea like that. Two phrases, two words of what was in the past and what you are now. What was Saul in the past and what Saul has become. Di ba na rin yun na sa akin to yung mensahe nagsabi ako na pag tinignan naman tayo ni Lord, nakikita niya talaga ang kapangitan ng lahat ng ating nagawa, ang kapangitan ng ating kanakalipas, but He always sees what we yet can become. And that should give us incredible hope that this God has trusts believe sa atin, and by His grace, we can truly become what He wants us to become. More than anything else, Father Mario is superbly blessed by a community like Acts and by the people behind it. Ako talaga, shook ako, shook. Sabi ng British. I'm shook by the talents, no? by the people who have conceived this, si Arian, you know, si Jen Kelly. Whoa, I, I am impressed by this girl. Not only that she's beautiful, but whoa, the phrases that are all coming from you. She rocks, the prayers, the greetings. I have to say, I am the lucky one. I really am the lucky one. And I thank you guys for all of the support by our uh, board of trustees, by our council of servants, by all of you continue to serve. If I have, if Father Mario has, has done a little something to touch your lives, I thank the Lord also for that because of what he has done for us. Thank you for this wonderful gift today. Well, actually, hindi today. Tomorrow pa para sa atin, no? uh, September 30. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to Rome uh, to join with the, uh, our Filipino priests and sisters. Nangako naman akong ililibre sila sa isang Chinese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> eh ngayon di kami nakakalabas eh. So everybody wants to go out. Sapagkat kami naman lahat ay for double vaccines ng Pfizer kadalasan. Uh, so and then plus may mga protocol na sinusunod talaga. You know? uh, so we will there tomorrow to eat uh, pancit and uh, fried rice and, and all the others. But just the same, this has brought us together. I am feeling superbly, superbly blessed by the Lord. And with you, we cannot but say, give thanks to the Lord for He has done great things for us. Maraming maraming salamat. Please also, let us not forget to pray for all of our brothers and sisters of God ahead of us. No? 
We were remembered with much, with much pain in our hearts. Pero sabi nga nila, and I love this phrase, sabi nila, death, uh, uh, st- st- uh, death st- steals from us someone we love. But love can never take away our memories of them. So let's continue to remember them in our prayers. And let us also remember those who are sick. No? Mga nasa hospital tayo ngayon. Si Brother Nards, nasa ICU pa. You know? And a lot of others, relatives and friends who are sick. Let's pray for them before the Lord who is a God of healing. And today as we celebrate the Feast of the Gabriel of, of the three archangels, si, si Michael who says, who is unto God? No? Si Raphael, Ano si, si Gabriel who brings the good news huh? to, to St. John, to Mary the Baptist, to Mary uh, about the birth of Jesus. And one, one very important um, uh, archangel, si Raphael, who is the, the, the messenger of healing. So today, let's ask St. Raphael to go to this. Sabi nga ng uh, ginabasa kanina, let's, de- let's let them work for us. Kasi ganun eh, they are meant to assist us. Unless we never ask them. So let's ask them. In our moments of darkness, St. Michael, in our moments we will have to need and receive the good news, St. Gabriel, in our moments we will have to be healed, body and soul, St. Raphael. They are meant to work for us. It's our greatest failure if we do not permit them to do these things for us. To my ex community, uh, the honor remains to be mine. And the privilege is so much felt. Thank you for everything that you have done, for assisting also our community here, who has uh, for a while locked out. No? Alam ko, ang sabi nga ng isang kaibigan ko, no? ngayon, Father, you're not talking about kita, you're talking about surviving. So let, let's ask the Lord, our God, if he has given us his only son, cannot give us anything less, you know? Because he has given us already the greatest gift. To all of you guys, I cannot mention all the names. Of course, to Brother Willie in his group, to the Council of Servants, you know, to all of you. Thank you so much from the heart. I have been touched today. I am shook. Ang <laughs> galing galing ng community. So at this point, let me just say a short prayer for everyone. Lord, we stand before you in awe and in grateful thanksgiving. Because you have done so much for us. Your patience, your mercy, your forgiveness, your kindness, your provisions. Continue to protect this, your community that you have established. Continue to send us people who will lead us into a realization that our God is a great God, is a powerful God. May we always have a grateful heart before you. May we be Constantly feeling your protection and your love and your mercy. Not only for ourselves, but for those we love. Through Mary's intercession, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And may the blessing of Almighty God come upon you and remain with you always. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And again, thank you, ha? Lalo na ang ganda ng pagka-develop ng story at the same point, which actually can be all our story from what we were to what we can become in this God of love. Thank you very, very, very much. Mili grazie, grazie di cuore. That means a thousand thanks and a grateful heart. I thank you from the heart. Thank you so much. Ah, magandang balita. Kahit na alam ko magko may COVID sa Pilipinas at mas matindi yung COVID dyan at 20% pa lang sa inyo ang nabigyan ng vaccines at medyo may problema pa tayo sa ating gobyerno. Father Mario has to go home. Uh, wala talaga sana ng plano but things have to be, may mga bagay na I have to attend sa, sa pamilya, sa bahay. And the things that have to be done na sobrang mahal dito like these eyeglasses after almost six years has to be changed na uh, dito sobra triple <laughs> kung may problem sa ipin uh, dito triple ang mga bayaran so I'm going home probably the last week of November nandiyan na kami I would ask for an extension of 15 days kasi alam ko magkwa-quarantine pa 
So baka 45 days ang stay ko so that I could also visit my people in Iloilo. So I'll be seeing you guys. I hope buhay pa tayo. I hope you're all safe. Please be safe and God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father Mar, and we'll see you soon. And likewise, stay safe there and when you come back here in, in the Philippines. Thank, Thank you, you for that moving message and that beautiful prayer. And in the spirit of giving thanks, we thank you again for joining us tonight sa mga pakulo namin. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we thank the Lord because He has blessed us with someone as amazing as you. And we thank you for touching the lives of many people in and out of this community. All has been said, Father Moore, and again, we wish you a happy birthday. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you, ha? Kasi nakita ko yung mga mukha ninyo, lalo na si Nadine Stead and the husband who are back and dancing. They were the old, old dancers natin and they were, they were the original ones. And I thank the Lord for the parents of all of these young ones who are doing so great. No? Thank you so much, guys. Congratulations. Again, you have touched my heart. Thank you. God bless. Arrivederci. Ci vediamo. We'll see each other. Oh, a presto. Sana very soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, Father. Bye-bye. Ganun na mga Italiano. Para mag-chow. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, Ayan. sige. Oh, leave na ako, ha? Oo, oh, leave na ako. Thank you so much. God bless. Thanks, Father. And mga kapatid, we are now coming to a close. But before we end, we would like to thank everyone who has joined us in this prayer meeting for giving your time and your hearts tonight. And we also give our appreciation to all our brave sharers for allowing us to be witnesses of how the grace and goodness of God has moved through your experiences. We also thank our brothers and sisters from our creatives, our praise cluster, our TV and multimedia who have worked hard behind the scenes to organize and ensure that we give the Lord our ultimate best service tonight for His greater glory. And last, but definitely not the least, we would like to thank the presence of our Almighty and loving Father as we gather tonight in sharing, praise, and worship. And of course, mga kapatid, this is, this is not goodbye, but rather, a see you soon. Dahil ang dami natin exciting events and mga happenings this October. Tama ba, Sister Jean? Yes, care brothers and sisters, as we all continue to journey through this pandemic as a community by these online events, let us all keep saying yes to our activities. So for our events or activities in October, a few announcements. So of course, first we have, on October 2, we have the online mass with, of course, Father Mario Sebrewanite uh, at 5 p.m. Manila time via Zoom. And of course, you can also see this in our FB Live, in our Axe community page. And of course, for October 3, we again have been blessed to be able to celebrate Mass in SM Megamot. Uh, we have the 9 a.m. Healing Mass, which will also be shown via FB Live and by searching Axe Healing Masses. And on October 6, we have our first Wednesday Mass with again, Father Mario Sebrewanite. That's on October, uh, that's on the first Wednesday of October, 8 p.m. again, Manila time via Zoom. And of course, on October 9, we have the 9 a.m. formation with Father Dan Cancino. Again, we it will be shown via FB Live, but you can also join via Zoom, hopefully. And of course, we will have the continuous Wednesday prayer meetings in October. Our talk series for the coming month is The Battle is the Lord's. So I'm sure we're all excited to hear more about that as we all go through our own battles and our all our own journeys that we lift up to the Lord. Because I'm sure that through these online activities, we not only experience God's plan for us, but it is also a way on how we, con- we are continuously used as disciples and instruments of God's plan for others. So like how Paul didn't stop when he experienced God's strong interception in his life, but rather use this to feel more secure and empowered in preaching the word and living it out. Tayo rin po, brothers and sisters, tuloy-tuloy ang pag-improve, pag-grow, and pang-strengthen ng relationship natin with our Lord, who is continuously in our lives, wherever or whatever situation we are in. So tonight, we heard a lot of stories of how 
the Axe community was able to impact the lives of our new members and even our own lives, the old members here. And I'm sure we all feel stronger. We all feel so much, feel so much love and pride for our community tonight and everything that we've been doing and everything we are about to do. So again, we invite everyone that we end tonight's grand worship as we all sing, dance, and come together to sing our Axe Community song together. <laughs> 